same thing. So at the end of the day, same movement. It's like imagine I have the ball, uh -huh. I would do like this and throw it. Yeah. Now I have the paddle and the ball, I come here to throw it forward. Oh Alright, so um, I asked Zhao Mei, how the heck does he serve so hard? Like when you serve, your ball either just rolls on the ground like that, or it pops Pop up, up like a whole foot, more than anyone I've ever met. So we're going to give you guys kind of a close up to what he's doing here. Uh, yeah, basically I try to be, uh, try to have the balance forward a little bit, so I, I'm not serving like that. I'll try to start on the balance uh, central neutral, and then... Oh, my, my hand will be very loose and I'll point the, the paddle down so then when I start from here I'm putting a little bit of hip and then I accelerate the arm up so it's gonna look like this basically it's gonna look like this it's basically That's really good. And yeah, so so from here soft here, and just I'm trying to accelerate over over the hand, and then as you get more confident, you can you can put more body into it. In this side, actually, when I want to when I actually want to make the point, oh. I'll 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 come down and I'll jump into the ball. Oh wow! From there. Why so, specifically on that side though? Because in this side, I guess when I was playing tennis, is my side from playing forehands. Okay. In this side, it's kind of hard to jump into, into the that, that direction because the power I do it from here, so it's kind of not natural to do like that. So I here, see. here is, I do more a little bit of a rotation. Yeah. Like right there. Yeah. Right, right there. And but here, I will. I, I can't really get down and jump yeah. in, oh in, jump God. into it. That's why when I feel confident, yeah. I, I really, if I don't want to play the point, I'll, I'll bend my point into, yeah. into, I make two steps back yeah. over here, so I'll serve a little further, yeah. but then I'll really crank the serve. Okay. If I come here, I mostly I will, I will focus on spinning it a lot, yeah. but if I want to put power, the court is kind of short. Okay. So here, when I make two steps back, yeah. I can really go and throw the, the entire arm into, yeah. into it. Can I try serving a few and have you critique yeah, and course. try to help me improve my serve? Yeah. You know, I've been, pa I've been practicing going big, you know, but yeah. the master's right here. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Because when I go for my serves, I feel like I try to do depth and topspin more than power. But you check all every single box. It's yeah. like, you got depth, you got power, you, and you have topspin. For me, I feel almost a bit timid to hit all three. Yeah, I feel almost timid to go full power because I don't know how to check all three while, while hitting it consistently. Well, typically what, uh, what switches the, the ball and the direction and all this is typically your hand. My hand. So if you can do always the same movement on the body, yeah. what's going to make the difference between your ball going deep or your ball going short is where you finish with the hand. So if I want to serve short, when I make the motion, I'll finish my motion close here. So, Ooh. so for instance, let's say I want to play a little bit more angle. Yeah. So I'll finish down here. You see? Wow. So I come here, right? Yeah. Now, if I if I want to finish, if I want the ball to go deeper, uh -huh. all I gotta do is the the ball goes where the hand goes, right? So all I gotta do is bring the hand a little higher. So if I want to go deeper, I come yeah. here and I'll go a little higher. You see? Now, now I got the the death over there. And so usually it depends on the day, how I feel, but if I don't feel confident to do either one specifically accurately like that, yeah. then I'll just point at the middle, middle. In, in between. So okay. instead of finishing up here because it's going too long because there's wind, right. or, or if I finish short here, I get nets, then I'll finish just on the middle and I'll aim for something like that, Ooh. a little faster and just middle. But it just depends of, of, of who I play, it depends right. like if I want to target a back end or, or or a forehand, or if I don't care. If I don't care, yeah. and I have a player that is decent on both sides, yeah. then I'll serve middle all the time, and mm -hmm. I'll let them choose whatever they want. Wow. If I have a player that has a wee back end, then I'll start finishing higher, because if I finish high, yeah. um, they don't have time to move around. Right, right. right? If, I, if the ball bounces short, they can always go like that. Yeah. Right? And if I have a player that 
that he really don't want to play a backhand, which happens a lot, right. and they want to cross and come here, then I'll start serving a little more like the short one that I told you, like that. Wow. Because they they cannot, they, they still, they'll have to come here, but they'll open the whole court for me, if that makes sense. Bro, you're like playing chess. Like, I've been playing checkers this whole time. You like that's, got the whole... That's basically what pickleball is. It's yeah. chess, all the time. Yeah. Let me summarize what you're saying. Like, you're saying the really consistent part is this rotation. Yeah. Yeah. Your hips and your legs. Well, the only consistent. mistake you can do with this uh -huh. is that you go up instead of forward. For, okay. That's the only mistake. Okay. With the hand, you can do like so much stuff. Yeah. So what you gotta dial is from the moment you touch the ball, yeah. where is this going? Okay. Is it opening? Is it coming here? Is it coming too much here? You know? So if yeah. you dial the ending after uh -huh. touching this, yeah. that's when you're gonna start getting consistent on that. Can I show you my hip movement? Yeah. <laughs> that's a kind of weird statement. Everybody but... has different. Okay. So, so it don't matter like, uh, as long as you transfer power from here, here. to the ball, it Forward. doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter how you do it. There okay. is like like you see the bar going into the ball. Right. Tyson yeah. is doing like this, like throwing it, throwing it forward here. Ben yeah. is coming all, all the way. You know. Yeah. It's the serve. There is not. It's hard to find a general uh, statement or technique yeah. that is correct. Right. It doesn't matter. As right. long as you follow the rules, you can provide make power the, the way you want. I have a right? question for you. Are yeah. you right eye dominant or left eye dominant? Left eye. You're left eye dominant. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try a few. I'm gonna try to do your technique of like, if I could control the ball there or deeper based off of where my hand is, but I'm gonna try to keep my hips and my forward movement yeah. constant. Okay. So here's a lofty one. Okay. So, so that one for instance, your body did like this. It went from here, uh -huh. it, when you hit it, you did like that. You hit it, you did like that. So now you uh -huh. lost all this motion that went here uh -huh. instead of there. Oh. Like you so lost that, that much power because you went here. Up. So you first you gave power to the ball yeah. and then you took it away. Oh. If so I want to go forward. Yeah, so you want to go here, boom, all, yes. all the way. Almost like you want to you wanna finish with this shoulder in front of this one. Not, not down though. Yeah, uh -huh. So look at mine. It will be, you see now, ex exactly. So kind of step into the court. You can or you can, it doesn't, it doesn't really, depends on the, yeah. I'll try it. That's better. Try it. That's better. I mean, yeah. you, the, what's gonna happen if, yeah, you just say you step so much over here, if they return deep, you're screwed, right? Right, so, so maybe step back So here. for instance, that would be a, a solution, right? And instead of starting here, yeah. if you know you're gonna do that, you go boom, and then you're ready here on, yes. the, on the court, right? Wow. That's what I do when I, when I, when I make that step. Okay, let's see if I could do what Jamie is telling me. Here. Yep. Wow, I and felt Do you hear that. it now? I you heard, hear yeah. the ball, yeah. I felt way more confident that too. Yeah, because you have so much space and, and still, you, did you, like let's say from 0 to 10, how hard did you hit that? I, maybe like 60%. 60% and, and you still hit it like, let's say, three quarters of the core, like your ball bounced here. So you hit it 60%, yeah. you, that means that even if you hit it 100%, yeah. maybe the ball is going to come here. Wow. So that's how much leverage <laughs> you have right now. If you start like a little more back, you want to make points on serve, yeah. I recommend always like take one step back yes. and really crank it. Yeah, and step like, forward. Like what you don't want to do is miss the serve on the net. Right, right. I hate that. Yeah. So I always my serve, I'll try to like aim for maybe, maybe like this much over the net. Okay. And, and 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 really serve from here just because I, I from here I, my arm really has to crank the yes, ball for yes. it to go down yeah for here if I'm a little tight and my arm doesn't crank as fast as I should right still the ball is gonna drop because of the space this guy That's man, for me. you're a fantastic teacher man <laughs> well thank you hey YouTube guys make sure to go follow Jaume Vic on Instagram you got a YouTube bro uh, no. Not yet. Follow him when it drops. I'll put a link below. All right. Follow my guy here. Thanks so much, bro. Yeah, of course. My pleasure. Yeah.